Good morning, Central Georgia. I'm meteorologist Jordan West. Got some fog starting us out in the morning. Seeing a lot of purple on the screen. That means visibility is down to just what's directly in front of you. Definitely want to be careful out there and on the roadways. This includes Taylor County as well as Macon County, parts of Lamar County, Upson County as well, Monroe County. So if you're out there, be careful out there. And if we can even look at the live camera on at Macon, at least earlier, you kind of see that fog out there in the distance. So remember, just be careful out there on those roadways. As far as Macon and much of Central Georgia, though, the sun is now up and over those clouds. Beautiful day to get out there and enjoy it. Over the past 24 hours, we did see a few showers here and there, especially in some of our southern counties across Central Georgia, up to an inch in very few spots in the past 24 hours. So today is going to be something similar, a little bit more less rain, but still some small little isolated compact storms that when they track across much of Central Georgia, they can, they can leave a lot of rainfall with them. So rain, heavy rainfall and there may be a few gusty winds are likely today with these small compact storms although you seeing these storms are not very likely thanks to this high pressure that we have in much of northern Georgia. So northern Georgia isn't really going to see any. If you head to Atlanta, you're all good. But as much of central Georgia, south central Georgia, and southern Georgia, that's going to see all the rain today. Let's track that with you now. This is 1 o'clock, and most of those showers are in our southern county still, and that's going to continue as we head into 5 o'clock. Copy and paste as we move into 9, 10 o'clock. Got a few isolated storms making their way in there like I said very 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 low rain chances today again you can copy and paste that for tomorrow because it's a similar situation some of our southern counties seeing some rain got some storms off to our east they kind of just brush up against central Georgia and then as we head into later on in the work week we start to not really clear out but see rain chances ramp up as a cold front moves in a little next week but temperatures across the board are in the 70s 73 in Gordon 72 in Dublin 72 degrees in Wrightsville and those dew point Temperatures also in the 70s, so going to continue to be muggy, sticky, and heavy outside. And as a result, temperature heat index values are going to be at 98 degrees, so make sure you stay nice and hydrated. Today, the actual high, 91 degrees, and all the more reason to stay super hydrated today and tonight, dropping to 71 degrees. Tomorrow, similar situation, like I said before, copy and paste, and you get the idea. But as far as the tropics go, got a lot going on. Got three different areas of development that are aren't very likely across the next five days, but we have this one little area here and then central or I say, yeah, central Atlantic Ocean, 70% chance of tropical development and it's kind of pointed towards North America as a whole. Will it form? Well, it's likely where will it hit? We won't know until it forms, but of course we'll be tracking that with you as we head throughout the work week. But here's that seven day forecast. Temperature highs are in the 90s the next four days and even the 80s by the weekend.